Hey guys, it's Gio from Smart Home Makers. In this video, we're gonna look at this Audroid N2 Plus, and we're gonna install Home Assistant on it. Let's roll the intro. So let's have a look at the Audroid. The Audroid N2 Plus, the version I bought, this is a two gig version for around 78 pounds here in the UK, and I bought it at audroid.co.uk. I also had to purchase the eMMC module for uh, around 50 to 60 pounds. That's 128 gigs too. So in terms of the connectors, we have four USB 3.0 connectors, one USB 2.0 OTG port. We also have an HDMI port, a stereo line port. And in terms of power, we need the DC jack 5.5 millimeters by 2.1 millimeter DC 12 volts to amp in terms of the power supply. In terms of the networking card, we have a one gig LAN port. The Audroid in general should be much more reliable than a Raspberry Pi with an SD card and should also be more performant, but that needs to be tested and I'll let you know in the future. So I've decided to rebuild my smart home with Home Assistant. I've picked this Audroid N2, link down in the description down below, and I'm gonna give this a go. So previously I was running everything on a NAS. I tried a Raspberry Pi, and I thought, why not let me give this a go? The first thing we're going to need to do is look at this old droid and look at this particular pin and we're gonna to need to move the pin to the left. Right, so I've got this little MMC here, it's 128 gigs, let me zoom in so you can see it. And just tap it and gently press it until you hear a click. And this will be the end result. Let's connect this USB keyboard into the old droid this will allow us to control and send some commands that we're going to need to do right now. Got my keyboard over here. And now let's go and get an HDMI cable and plug it in. Okay, get the HDMI cable, plug it inside your Audroid, and then take the other end and put it inside the monitor. We obviously need to give power to the Audroid. So I'm using this power adapter that I had in my home. It's a 12 volt, 2.5 amp. But take this end over here as not as standard really and just plug it in over here. And now this should all boot up. Now press enter to go to the shell. If you don't do that relatively quickly, you might boot into an operating system, but don't worry. Just turn it off again, turn it on again, and just pan that enter key when you see it on the screen. Now we're in a command line. We've got a couple of commands that we need to execute. These commands, will, you'll find them in the description down below. So just type ls space dash dev dash mmc and then star. So this is gonna give us the access of the information and depending on what result we get here, we need to um, put that in the next command. So what I'm looking for is a dash dev mmc bl key BLK, sorry, zero, which is what we're going to use. If you had an SD card, that could be MMC BLK1. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transform our Audroid into a USB device that we can connect into our laptop so we can install Home Assistant on it. So now just type UMS space dash dev dash MMC BLK and then zero. Press enter, and we're done. If you've been getting value out of this video, then consider liking the video, let's carry on. What we're going to do, we're going to use a micro USB cable and connect that into the Audroid. I'm gonna use the Audroid as if it was like a USB stick plugged into the computer. To install Home Assistant on the Audroid, we're gonna use a piece of software called Balina Etcher. Now install that, and it's compatible for Windows and Mac. Once you've got that installed, open it up like I've got it here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the flash from URL. So click on flash from URL. And now we need to enter a valid image address. So this is a recent address that I used previously. And the URL, you can get it in the description down below. And what you'll do is you'll just copy it and you'll paste it here. And then you can press OK. Now, because I already installed this previously on an SD card, and I was moving to the EMMC module, Apparently, I need to actually connect the USB cable while I'm running the command that I did previously. But the first time around that I did that, I didn't need to do that. So in case you have any issues with troubleshooting, I can't find the, uh, the um, USB device and you can't connect it, you can actually run the command with the micro USB attached into the computer from the Audroid. 
Now that has been sorted and I can go and select target. I can click compute module. Be careful here if you have multiple USB drives to pick the right one. And we're ready to flash, so click flash. And then that should be starting and that should take another maybe two, three or four minutes. I'm about to put in my password and now it's flashing. Flash is nearly complete now and we're going to move into the validation phase. Now the flashing is complete, we can unplug our micro USB, the HDMI cable and everything else. What we'll do now is we'll power the device off, we'll turn the switch to the right, so to MMC, and then we'll power it on and we'll put a network cable in. Now after a few minutes, you should be able to find this screen here. Now this means we're all done and you're ready to get started in your home assistant journey. At this point, you could just put in your username, create a password, and just get started with Home Assistant. If this is the first time you're installing Home Assistant, I suggest you check out my free Home Assistant course, link in the description down below. I'm gonna put a playlist here with a couple of good ideas that you can follow me on YouTube. Stay safe and see you in the next one.